I mean, I honestly think it was the outing against the Angels late in my rookie year when I finally got my first win. On the hill tonight for the Cleveland Indians will be the rookie Mike Clevenger, who was originally drafted by these Los Angeles Angels. He's very much looking forward to tonight's game against his former organization. There's a, like an hour and a half rain delay. Heavy rain is starting to pour down here at Progressive Field. And I sat there in my locker for an hour and a half just thinking. I, I wanted the LA lifestyle at the time. Like that's what I thought I wanted. Everything was right there and then all of a sudden I'm shipped off like. I still remember those emotions I felt as a kid. Now I get a chance to face them. What's the worst thing that could happen tonight? I kind of like doing the same things. Like I'll, I like playing baseball. Like if it was available in the off season, I'd still do that. If it was just a free scheduled, like I show up and get, know what I need to do to get ready on that fifth day kind of thing. No, that's why that's my favorite part. I get to work on my craft and schedule it around like like because that's why I picked this 24-hour gym here. There's times that I'll go and be like, look, we got this cool, there's a cool event in Seaside down the town here. Let's go do that with the girls. And then I'll and then sometimes I won't get to the gym till nine. And then I'll lift from nine to midnight, but it's not like I'm not what and I'll just sleep in a little bit the next day and change my schedule the next day. She has to hold the cup. And that freedom to fluctuate and just kind of live your life and live in the moment and not always be thinking about like, oh, what's tomorrow? Oh, what's what's next? Or when's my next start? Who's the next team? What city? And that, that part, just that kind of controlled environment is kind of cool to have for a little bit. Look at this. down to the lake of Lake before we go out to the beach. I'm going to show you. Are you going nuts? You ready? Go. Go. <laughs> you made it. Go for me. Especially little things like this, just for like an hour or so at the beach to start my day. It's like the, my favorite thing in the world. You gotta turn them into castles, babe. Yeah, a little more here. Got it. Yeah, I wasn't immediately, until someone would get to take time to get to know me, and then they'll start, I mean, they'd like me, but a lot of times it was, uh, I mean, with the angels, it was a big, big hair thing. And so that was passed down, and I mean, the whole angel staff, like, they used to come to me to cut my hair and cut my hair. It was because I wasn't in the big leagues, so I have to cut my hair because I'm not worthy of long hair. So you don't care about this conformity at that level, or once I performed that level. And it's just that, I mean, go watch Bull Durham. They don't care, They'll, it looks colorful when you have mold on your shoes in the show. You know what I mean? It's the same old traditional bullshit. I 
I still throw harder than you. I mean, oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> the ass, the uh, being asked to conform. I used to want to throw hard every day in catch play. I wanted to rip through my partner every day. And I've had, I mean, it was up until I probably came over to the Indians organization that, you know, it, obviously loading a lot of innings and finding your right balance, but, but when I didn't have a lot of load in college and before that and they're telling you not to throw hard and like, no, 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 you need to save your bullets and, no, it's nonsense. If you're being an athlete and you're using your body correctly, you're doing nothing but building what you're trying to do. Anybody in the world might not know they're being asked to do that, but you are either doing it without knowing, but you're asked to conform on so many different levels of your life, it is unbelievable. Well, I mean, you saw when I first came up. If you would have, like I, I was talking about this earlier, if you took just watching me throw without a hitter in AAA, and then watch me throw my rookie year in the big leagues, you'd be like, who the f who is that guy out there? And it wouldn't, because it's not the hit. it wouldn't even be about the hitters. I had the stuff, I had the velocity. It was just that conformity that like, I don't want to step on people's toes. I don't want to look like I'm showing someone up. I'm afraid I'm going to have too big of a leg kick and someone, or too big of a finish and someone's going to think I'm, you know, comfortable here. And, oh, I don't, I don't want to just be in the weight room all the time doing this. And like little things like that, and then I'm not even, uh, how much am I focused on the game or my craft at that point when I'm worried about how I'm sitting in my damn locker? And that's when I finally was like, you know what, like, you can hate me, because I know if I'm me. I wouldn't be good enough to put up results on that field, and then there's nothing you can deny about that. Bullseye, straight three, call, and Clevenger keeps on cruising. That's the first hit of the night for the Angels. It comes with two outs in the sixth inning. A nice hand for Mike Clevenger from the crowd as Terry Francona is going to go to the bullpen. The tying run will be at the plate for the Angels here in the sixth inning. Clevenger with his longest start of his young professional career. 